We have a problem statement here. Let us read it. Write a recursive function to obtain the first 25 numbers of a Fibonacci sequence. In a Fibonacci sequence, the sum of two successive terms gives the third term. So the following are the first few terms of the Fibonacci series and they have given a few terms in this series. So to get the exact solution for this problem statement, please visit the link present on your computer screen right now. We have source code written exactly matching this problem statement. In this video, we will be modifying two things. Our sequence starts from 0 and 1 and not 1 1 and we will ask the user to input the number of terms he or she wants to display. These are the only two changes. Okay. With that, what is Fibonacci series? Fibonacci series is a series of numbers where the first two Fibonacci numbers are 0 and 1. And each subsequent number is the sum of the previous two. So its recurrence relation is given by Fn is equal to n means nth term. Fn is equal to f n minus 1 plus f n minus 2. With that, let me show you how Fibonacci series are calculated. So we already know the first two terms that is 0 and 1. So add it 0 plus 1 gives 1 right the next next term in this series. So let me remove this space now. So we know these three terms now 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 3 is 8 8 plus 5 is 13 13 plus 8 is 21 21 plus 13 is 34 and so on on and on. So if you know first two terms, you can calculate any of those subsequent terms. So Fn is equal to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2. This is the recurrence relationship for Fibonacci sequence. So n is nth term. I'll show you what is that. So 8 is in the seventh place. Okay. So the number the term 8 is in the seventh place let us calculate it okay let me calculate the seventh term so replace n by 7 so reduce this or deduce it 7 minus 1 is 6 that means we need to know the seventh sixth term 7 minus 2 is 5 that means we need to know the fifth term and we know that okay we need to calculate this term 8 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so we know these three terms so sixth term is five so f of seven which we don't know yet we assume like that so f of six is five plus what is f of five fifth term two three four five which is three so five plus three is eight which is the seventh term in this series and you can see it already which is 8 so this is how we calculate the subsequent series that is subsequent terms in the Fibonacci series okay using this recurrence relationship so write this down fn is equal to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 write this down okay let's write the c program i'll take two integer variables limit and count i'll ask the user to enter number of terms of Fibonacci series to be printed I'll store that user entered value inside the address of integer variable limit so let me write the for loop I'll initialize count to 1 I'll iterate through this for loop until count is less than or equal to user entered limit for each iteration of this for loop, I'll increment the value of count by 1. So I'll write the printf and print the terms, individual terms of this Fibonacci series. How? By calling a function called fib and passing the value of count to it. So nth term, the value is present inside the counter, that is loop counter variable count. So we'll pass that to our function fib. So count will be from 1 to user entered limit. If you user enters limit as 10, this for loop executes from 1 to 10. Okay. Let me define this function fib. We need to return an integer value. So I'll take return type as int. So I'll copy the count value inside a local variable called num. 
that makes more more sense inside this function so we know the first two terms the first term in our series is zero so if our program is asking us to return the first value we return zero because we already know that we need not calculate the things we already know else else if if our program is asking for second as well as third if it's asking for second or third term pass one to it because we already know these three numbers in this sequence else if they are asking anything else we will recursively call the same method fib and use this recurrence relationship formula so n is num so we need to know the calculate the nth term so which is present nth term is present inside num so num minus 1 plus fib of num minus 2 that's it that's all we need to calculate this fibonacci series let me compile and run it i'll type 5 so these are the five terms in the series okay count it 0 1 1 2 and 3 are five terms in the series so let me add a new line character here and also display the count here that would make more sense instead of we counting the terms in the sequence okay let me compile and run it now i'll give 10 now let's print 10 terms in this sequence and it's working so these are the 10 terms in the fibonacci series that's great so this is how it works so let me explain it further if any of you are have not understood it so give five so please write these terms write these five terms okay so i'll explain the logic here i'll copy these lines of code okay and paste it here so let me explain it now if user enters the limit as five and for each iteration our for loop passes uh, the number one by one that is in this case it passes count value that is from one to user entered limit user, if user entered limit is five we have taken it as five so num will be one to five for each iteration num uh, num value gets incremented by one so let me calculate for each iteration of the for loop so where now for first iteration num will be one right for loop passes count value which is one so one is equal to one so it should return zero according to our logic okay for next iteration num is equal to two so num is two check the logic now num is not equal to num is not equal to one so next else if num is two yeah return one so increment the value of num now num is three now check the logic once again num is not equal to one num is not equal to two num is equal to three so return three now it gets interesting num is four so check the logic now num is not equal to one num is not e even equal to two or three so else part gets executed so copy this code so replace the value of num which is four so let us reduce this four minus one is three four minus two is two so now recursively call the same logic same function so fib of three and fib of two so fib of three fib, it's not one so it's 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 not one it's two so return one plus fib of two so num is two so num is not one num is two yes return one so one plus one is two so the fourth term in this fibonacci series is two so the next thing let me copy this and paste it here now num is five now it gets even interesting so num is not one num is not two or three so else block gets executed let me copy this code so replace the value of num by five because num is five so reduce the value of five plus five minus one is four five minus two is three now check for this uh, so recursively our function calls itself by passing num value as four now it's not equal to one it's not equal to two or three 
again else block gets executed so replace this fib of 4 by this now replace the value of num by 4 so write this as it is here we are just checking it now 4 plus 1 4 minus 1 is 3 4 minus 2 is 2 once again this recursive function gets called fib of 3 is 1 so fib of 2 2 is not equal to 1 2 is equal to 2 here so returns 1 plus fib of 3 3 is not equal to 2 3 is equal to 3 which, re which returns 3 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 so the fifth term in this Fibonacci series is 3 nice right so according to our logic the numbers are 0 1 1 2 and 3 these are the five terms in the sequence so if user has entered limit as 6 I'll show you one more term okay it will be much more interesting to calculate going further so if user has entered limit as 6 our for loop should execute from 1 to 6 so let me calculate the sixth term here so else block gets executed because 6 is not equal to 1 or 2 or 3 so replace the num value with 6 hope you are understanding something here so 6 minus 1 is 5 6 minus 2 is 4 again fib of 5 is called recursively num is 5 now so again else block gets executed because 5 is not equal to 1 2 or 3 so replace this so now write this as it is here so replace the value of num by 5 here as well so 5 minus 1 is 4 5 minus 2 is 3 now fib of 4 4 is not equal to 1 not equal to 2 and 3 again else block gets executed so this should be replaced with this so replace the value of num by 5 have these two things as it is so replace the value of num with 4 these are recursive calls 4 minus 1 is 3 4 minus 2 is 2 and fib of 3 we already know the value of fib of 3 okay these things so fib of 3 num is 3 3 is not equal to 1 3 is equal to 3 return 1 and fib of 4 it's not equal to 1 not equal to 2 and 3 else block gets executed so replace this with this substitute the value of num with 4 so 4 minus 1 is 3 4 minus 2 is 2 now come back recursively call all these functions fib of 3 is 1 plus fib of 2 returns 1 plus we have 1 already here so fib of 3 returns 1 once again plus fib of 2 returns 1 once again so 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, plus 1 gives 5 so the sixth term in the Fibonacci series is 5 0 1 1 2 3 and 5 are the six terms in the Fibonacci series so observe here all the calls starts from right to left even though we are showing everything from left to right here okay so this is how it works so let me complete this program by writing the prototype hope you understood the logic how the recursive calls work and how recurrence relationship helps in calculating the subsequent terms in the Fibonacci series so that's it let me run the program once again for you i'll give 25 let's print 25 terms in this fibonacci series and it's working that's great so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends using whatsapp telegram wechat or whatever LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.